Every time a composer presents their first symphony, their first overture, their first opera, it's like a presentation card. It can be quite scary, and trust me, Beethoven was very nervous when he was presenting this for the first time because he was not only serving as the composer, he was also serving as the pianist. And we know he was so disorganized at times that he would be writing the piece while the piece was being rehearsed, driving the musicians crazy. And um, we know of moments in performances where Beethoven would be playing the piece, reading from a piece of music that was actually not finished because he had it in his head. But imagine if you were the person turning pages for Beethoven. How do you know when to turn if you're looking at a blind page? So Beethoven, we know this from accounts, from newspaper accounts, that Beethoven would get so angry that he would start screaming in the middle of the concert, the poor page and saying, now, now! And the page said, what are you talking about? I don't see anything on the page. Beethoven never got around to actually writing it down. That great sense of improvisation that Beethoven had, that great sense of virtuosity, remember, he wrote these piano concertos for himself, gives you also a great snapshot of the all-around musician and genius that he truly was. Because having to write the piece, and in many cases conduct it from the piano and play it, requires a special level of intelligence. And this first piano concerto really gives us a snapshot of what was to come. Because even in the first concerto, he was already getting away from tradition, showcasing not only his abilities, but also showcasing the orchestra, which by then mostly were served to a company, not here. The first piano concerto of Beethoven is one of the first that actually showcases the orchestra in its full value. And when the piece opens, the first 10 minutes basically belong to the orchestra.